Greetings students. I welcome you all to class 9. Hope you all are keeping safe, staying home and keeping healthy. Now before we start our online learning and teaching, I want you all to take a look at your English books this year. On the screen <coughs> you may be seeing, <coughs> you may see two books. One is under the title Beehive and the other one is titled as Moments. Beehive is going to be your English main textbook followed by the Moments book which is going to be your supplementary reader. <coughs> okay, now um, you do not have your uh, printed books with you. Uh, but I think I'm sure um, you will get your books soon once the school reopens. Till then you can use the PDF format, the PDF file of all the chapters. I had already sent you a link. Uh, please utilize that. And before you start learning this chapter, you should have your PDF file of this chapter opened before your eyes. Okay. Now... <coughs> We are soon going to start the first chapter from your main textbook, Beehive. Okay, now this chapter talks about the future of schools. This is a, you know, fascinating subject for you also too. It's quite thrilling for you to uh, know what's going to be schools like in future. I'm sure you must be missing your school, isn't it? Students... Do you miss your school? You miss coming to school. <coughs> Do you miss coming to school and meet up your friends? Your hangabouts. Isn't it? Right. So, <coughs> let's talk about uh, a bit of about the chapter that you are going to learn. Okay. On screen what you see is your first chapter from Beehive. It is titled as The Fun They Had. Can you all see that? Yes. Now this is the original form of your textbook. Okay. This is how it is given in your textbook. See we all live in the world of machines, gadgets and technology. Isn't it? Everywhere we can see machines around us. Um, okay, let's say to pay the bills, we have a billing machine. To exercise, we have exercise machines. To bake a cake, even we have a baking machine. And we cannot talk about washing clothes without a washing machine. And now that we have dishwashers to do dishes. Isn't it? So, I want to talk about the advancements made in technology today. Okay. And, and they are made in almost all fields. In the field of engineering, in the field of medicines, in the field of media, aviation. And so as education is no exception here. Your education system has been advanced quite a lot. Isn't it? Let's say um, you have started utilizing the smart boards. You can also hear the pronunciation of certain words, putting up the headphones on your head. Yes, you can um, listen to the songs and so many other things that you can do. <coughs> Let's say um, in course of time, Technology has made our lives quite easy and comfortable, simplified, very flexible. But, however, children, technology, if not used decently, it has its own disadvantages and shortcomings and the downsides, isn't it? <clears throat> so in this chapter, one, the fun they had. You're going to learn about the future of education. What is going to be the future schools like? Will they have no teachers? 
Will they have no school classrooms? Don't you have to go to school in a separate building which is going to be far from your house? You know, all such questions. This chapter is rather to be felt than to learn. What is going to be your mindset? What is going to be your approach? Uh, when you come to know that such a thing is going to happen. How is it going to affect you? That is more to do uh, with how you are going to look at it. <clears throat> okay? Now, before we start the first chapter, students, I want you all um, to have to carry a small notebook and a pen with you. Since you do not have a printed book with you, and you are using a PDF book, you will require a notebook to make your own notes till you get your printed books with you. Okay, so please carry a separate small notebook with you and a pen so that you can make your notes chapter wise. Okay. <clears throat> and you also should have a PDF file opened before you so that as we go about the chapter, you can see the hard content words, the idioms, the sentence format and all other aspects, the features of language. Okay, let's say uh, we are soon going to start now. I am here on first page. Now, before we read, the story we shall read is set in the future. When books and the schools, as we now know, them will perhaps not exist at all. How will children study then? The diagram below may give you some idea. Now check out the diagram. Um, it is all about the schools of future. There are different things that it is showing. Let's say instead of your school classroom, you may have a virtual classroom which is located in your own house perhaps. Now, instead of having a printed book, you may have an e-book. And instead of flipping the pages back and forth, you may have to scroll the text upward and downward. And you will do all your content learning through computers. And last but not the least, students. You may have robotic teachers to teach you. How about this? You may not have human teachers, only the robotic teachers. How do you feel about it? Some of our students must be having a sigh of relief not to have teachers teaching them. <laughs> Isn't it, students? But soon you will realize this when you reach the end of this chapter that it will be completely useless for you to study without human teachers teaching you. Let's see. How do you feel about it? Yes. Um, not in pairs, but we will discuss the things that you um, like the best about your school and the things about your school that you would like to change. Yes. Put forward your suggestion or you just write them down. Um, have you ever read words on a television or on a computer screen? I'm sure that you do. You are doing it now. Can you imagine a time when all books will be on computers and there will be no books printed on paper at all? Would you like such books? Do you think they are going to be better? Or the books in printed form are going to be better? Let's find out the answer. Now, before we start, I want to have... Uh, I want you to have a bit more um, introduction to this chapter. Okay. Now, this is a small diary entry in a form of a story which is set in the future. It will make all of you love your school. I am sure you are all missing your school now. The quality time that you spend with your friends especially. Isn't it? This story is regarding school life and how those children who do not go to school they miss their school. 
the setting of the story is in the future when perhaps there will be no school no books and therefore no teachers now how those students will miss going to school and will feel that their ancestors that is the present generation you all of you had how much fun going to school meeting and helping your friends you see um finally uh, all these things you learnt through two characters named margi and tommy now margi is little younger than tommy margi is just 11 and tommy is 13 years old right uh <coughs> margi feels that all those students had a lot of fun when they went to school so when we read the story we feel that the school life is really very good and we are so lucky especially you students your generation is really so lucky that you all have a chance to go to the real schools where you actually go meet your friends and get a chance to study together right now let us start see the story starts with margis uh, making her entry in the diary see what she writes margi even wrote about it that night in her diary on the page headed 17th of may 2157 she wrote today tommy found a real book now reading this look at the year look at the date we are all in year 2020 and this chapter talks about the year 2157 that is almost a century and a half ahead of this time you see just while you are learning this chapter students you please have this year group in your mind okay that you are the students of perhaps 22nd century <laughs> that is 2157 okay so you have to think that you are living in the year 2157 so you can be with margi what has margi written on 17th of may 2157 that she has found an original book now it is a thing of astonishment to margi because margi has never seen a real original book how did the book look like in past okay right so when tommy found a real book she had to make a diary entry about it that that was such a remarkable thing for her to find an original printed old book because these children have never seen a printed book ever in their lives okay let's go ahead it was a very old book margi's grandfather hmm once said that when we when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper right margi is thinking of her grandfather because he told her that he studied all the books that were printed on paper so this kind of a book you know of a book is really historical or ancient for them something which they cannot believe they can't even imagine okay now let's see uh, the book that tommy has found how does the book look like they turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly 
and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to. How? On a screen, you know. Right. See, Margie is talking about the book that Tommy has found. She says that the pages of the book had turned yellow. They had been crushed as it the book was very old. The children found it very funny to read the words which stood still. Now what does it mean by the words that stood still? As the words were printed on the pages that means they did not move. They did not dance. One does not have to scroll the text up and down. Because on a printed book, you don't have to scroll the text. You have to flip the pages back and forth. Isn't it? So on the other hand, the books that Margie and Tommy read were online books. That means they were e-books. Okay. Later in the chapter, these books are mentioned as telebooks. So in the e-books, how it happens to be the text keeps on moving as your screen moves. But it was a different book. What Tommy has found, the text stood still and one could really read the book, the text with ease. Right? Okay. <clears throat> now, let's go to the second paragraph. Gee, said Tommy, what a waste of time. Money and energy, everything. When you are thorough with the book, you just throw it away. I guess our television screen must have had a million of books on it. And it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with mine, said Margie. She was 11 and had not seen as many telebooks as Tommy had because he was 13. You see, um, Tommy disliked the printed book, the one that they have found. He said that it was a waste because he felt that whenever you complete reading a book, you have to throw it away. You cannot have some different story written on the same book. You see, he supports the idea of um, um, the text once learnt, once read. It can be erased or, you know, can be deleted and the new text can be entered. Now, this can happen only if you are using an e-book or a telebook. But if you are using a printed book, what happens once it is already utilized, once it is learned, once it is read, it perhaps ends up being disposed or being discarded as a useless um, object, isn't it? So he does not support this idea of using a printed book. You see, uh, don't feel bad students here because these are the children of 2157. You are the children of 2020. So, you know, this gap remains here. I told you this chapter has to be more to be felt rather than to learn. You have to think uh, about you know your mindset and the mindset of the children to come in future okay <clears throat> so he thinks that you cannot have some different story written on the same book so how can one afford to have a printed book in short um he supports the idea that the computer screens are very good because the same screen has uh, shown him many books and he can still keep on adding more and more books because it has such a big room for many books to be included you see and once he is done with his reading he never have he never has to throw any book in case if he is done with one book he can just erase the data and something new can be entered so he would not have to throw the screen away 
when once he had read a particular story book isn't it it seems tommy has a lot of um, story ebooks on his computer which he keeps on reading and then perhaps keeps on um, erasing and making room for new more to come keep on deleting it but this thing cannot happen with uh, the printed books right so this is what he supports let's go ahead <clears throat> now she says where did you find it she is asking tommy and because tommy is quite engrossed in reading this printed book old book without looking at her he says in my house he pointed without looking because he was so busy reading the story in the attic what is an attic attic is a space just below the roof which you can use as a store right what's it about margis another question say what does this book uh have information inside right so tommy answers okay this book all talks about the school now margis notion right what does margi think about school is completely different than what you all students think about the school right now before we go to the third paragraph girls we keep our learning only up to this today and soon i shall be uploading the next video which will take you further in this chapter right from the third paragraph i want you all to keep learning you have the pdf file of this chapter please keep reading and i shall see you soon again bye